I'm Christine from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're taking a look at the Snow Peak Kun Pie bottle, which I've been testing for two weeks. If you find this video helpful, hit subscribe so we can keep bringing you content to help you travel smarter. Let's jump in. The 350 milliliter Kun Pie bottle, which fun fact, Kun Pie means cheers in Japanese. That's always fun to learn. Um, so it comes with the three lids that you see here. Like you get the box and all of this is in the box. So the reason there are three lids is because everything has its own little purpose. We've got um, this black lid, which has the cute little snow peak sort of snowflake logo on it. And then the other, the other logo here you can see is right here on the front of the bottle and that's about it for branding. So, um, so this one is supposed to, you fill your bottle and it's stainless steel, double walled insulation. So even though it's very thin, you can see how thin this is. It's, you fill it up, not quite to this bottom ridge, you want to, do it a little bit down and then like if you have like I had coffee I'm a coffee fiend so I had lots of coffee and you put this on and you screw it on and then this is supposed to keep it hot or warm for up to six hours and at the same time prevent leaks spills now you will see oh sorry that was loud um, it's got this gray gasket at the bottom, and if you don't install it properly, looking at me here, it, it will still leak when you tip it. So make sure you have it on properly, and then it works great, because I never got it to do it again, but the one time I dripped coffee all over the place. So then, when you get to your destination, you want to drink, you want to switch to this one, which is the sipping lid. And I have to say, I found this thing, it's a joy to drink out of. I can't even describe why it's such a joy to drink out of, but it is a joy to drink out of. And so the difference is, is this one is not leak proof. So you can't like just put it on and maybe toss it in a backpack, let it go sideways, whatnot. It's, you need to keep it vertical. And then also it's not as insulating as this one. Although I did put in boiling water for tea and still burn my mouth five hours later. So it's pretty well insulated. Keep that in mind. So that's cool. But then you take this one off and you see, I have one more lid here. What do we do with this one? This one you throw in the freezer. Okay, white ice helps you remember. Throw it in the freezer because along with being a bottle you can drink from with the lid. Do not try to drink without the lid. You can take a cold beverage, slide it in gently upside down, and then twist this on and it acts as a can cooler and it will keep it cold I mean, I put it in front of a heat register for a couple hours and it kept it cold for, a, it was still just like I pulled it out of the fridge and then I left it out overnight at room temperature, still cold the next morning. So it works really well. That, that is a great, you know, um, a great function. So, but what you do need to keep in mind is that while all of these are great, you do then have to bring multiple lids if you wanna take advantage of the different functionality so that's something to be aware of. The nearly three inch diameter of the bottle means it fits in most cup holders. Although if you have one with those silicone in inserts, like my car does, it gets a little wedged in. So just be sure it's closed. The sipping lid is closed when you go to pull it out, or you may have a little bit of sloshing. Also, so this is really packable because it is super lightweight for how insulated it is. It, the bottle itself weighs about six ounces. You add this lid and it's seven and a half. So, I mean, it's like really lightweight, but of course you're going to have to pack the thermal lid probably too, whether you're drinking hot or cold. And so then that brings it up to about nine ounces altogether. Now, if you're going on vacation, you plan on tailgating using the cold one too. Altogether, this is about 12 ounces, but then of course you do need to make room for added lids in your pack. So keep that in mind. For comparison's sake, I've got a couple other comparable, you know, uh, 
very well insulated bottles here. I've got the Yeti Rambler bottle, which at 16 ounces is a lot heavier than the Snow Peak. However, you get all that insulation by just having just one cap. It's this hot shot cap and you just click it and then you can drink all the way around anywhere. And if you tighten it up, it doesn't, it doesn't drip. We've, we've tested that, it works really well. I've also got the Zojirushi here, which has its own locking mechanism in right here in the cap so that you can't accidentally open it. And then you just slide it and do this. And it is a lot more lightweight. This one's about eight and a half ounces. So it's comparable to the Snow Peak. However, it's just, I don't find it as nice to drink from. And then it's got this white cap, which you can kind of see maybe. Um, it's hard to keep clean. It's got some coffee staining from lots of use because we like to use it. Um, so there's that. It's, you know, this, this is arguably the more aesthetically pleasing of them just because of the nice shine, but you are going to have to make room in your pack for extra lids. So keep that in mind. So there you have it. The Snow Peak Kanpai bottle. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.